Hello friends, welcome to a new session on Python programming offered by Sifting Bytes Academy. If you are new to this channel, my name is Venu. In this video, we will learn how to install Python 3 on macOS operating system. macOS operating systems used to come with Python pre-installed, out of the box. This system's Python, that is the version of the Python that came with the operating system, is generally outdated. For example, older versions of macOS came with Python 2, up until macOS Monterey 12.3 version. Python 2 was completely removed in macOS Monterey 12.3 update. For instance, my system has macOS Monterey 12.5 version. It's the latest one when recording this video. To check the Python version we have on our Mac, let's open up a terminal. The command line interface of macOS operating system. Press the keys command plus space to open up the spotlight. Type in terminal and select the one that pops up. By default, it opens up in the home directory of the logged in user. Let's change the working directory to user bin by typing in the command cd space root user slash bin. In there, let's list out all the files and folders by typing in ls space hyphen la. It's a pretty long list. So, let's list out all the files and folders that start with py by adding a filter to the previous command. ls space hyphen la followed by space py and a wildcard character asterisk. Now in the list, we will find the file python3 and it looks like python3 is pre-installed. But when we run it, by typing in python3 space hyphen hyphen version to check this system's python version and when you are doing this on a fresh installation of macOS, you may get a pop-up alert asking you to install Apple's command line developer tools first. It's a small package that provides tools for software developers. So as a matter of fact, Python 3 has never been bundled with macOS. The file we saw earlier was just a stub, which allows us to install it with the command line tools. So click on the install button to begin the download and installation process. Go through the license agreement if you have patience and click on the agree button. It might take a good deal of time to finish up. But do not worry, this is a one-time setup. We can also install the command line tools manually using the terminal by typing in the command xcode-select space hyphen hyphen install. After completion, we will see a confirmation message. Let's clear up the screen by typing in clear and hit enter. Now to verify if the command line tools are successfully installed, type in xcode hyphen select space hyphen p. It will print the path where they are set up. After the developer tools are installed, close this session and open up a new instance of the terminal again. Now type in python3 space hyphen hyphen version again and hit return key. We should be able to see the version of the python that has been set up. Python 3.8.9 by default when we installed the command line tools. So, now we have a working Python interpreter in our system. And we can very well use it to run our Python programs. But this version is pretty out of date when compared to the latest version available in the Python's official website python.org. The latest one when recording this video is Python 3.10.5. It could vary depending on when you are seeing this video. So let's download and install this latest version in our system. Older macOS systems come with Python 2 pre-installed. You can check it out by typing in python2 space 
हाइफन हाइफन वर्शन और जस्ट पाइथॉन स्पेस हाइफन हाइफन वर्शन क्लियरली पाइथॉन टू इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन माई सिस्टम प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो हियर एंड टेक ए मोमेंट टू रीड थ्रू द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द वीडियो बिफोर यू प्रोसीड फर्दर इन देर यू कैन फाइंड ऑल द कमेंट्स यूज इन द वीडियो इफ यू आर जस्ट लुकिंग फॉर ए क्विक सेटअप बट आई स्ट्रांगली रिकमेंड यू टू वॉच द कंप्लीट वीडियो आई होप यू फाइंड इट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इन्फॉर्मेटिव सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड There are many ways to set up Python on macOS but in this video we will learn two most popular ways of doing it you can follow either of these methods to set up your development machine first method is easiest and quickest way to get started using the graphical user interface of the operating system we will download and use the official installer from the python's official website python.org this official installer is maintained by the python software foundation So installing python using the official installer is the most reliable installation method on macOS. It includes all the system dependencies needed for developing applications with python. It comes with a complete feature set that are part of a standard python distribution like the python documentation, the comprehensive library, utility tools and scripts along with the cpython interpreter application. Second method is also easy. but it involves using a package manager homebrew using the terminal we will run a series of commands to set up python the homebrew package manager is a popular method for installing python on mac os because it's easy to manage from the command line and offers commands to upgrade python without having to go to a website because homebrew is a command line utility it can also be automated with bash scripts but it's important to note that The distributions installed by the official installer and the homebrew package manager are not identical. The Python distribution offered by homebrew is not controlled by the Python Software Foundation and could change at any time. And also installing from homebrew has some limitations. The Python distribution for macOS available on homebrew does not include the TCL TK dependency required by the Kinter module or tkinter module. Kinter is the standard library module of Python used for developing graphical user interfaces. Homebrew doesn't install the TK GUI toolkit dependency. Instead, it relies on an existing version installed on your system. This system version of TCL TK may be outdated or might be missing entirely and that could prevent you from importing the Kinter module. Hence, the most reliable method to install Python on macOS is to use the official installer downloaded from python's official website python.org especially if you plan on doing python gui programming with kinter let's start with the first method first step is to download the official installer from the python software foundation's website python.org let's fire up a browser window and open python.org In the home page, click on the downloads link. In there, click on the macOS link. That should open up a page where we can find all sorts of Python releases for macOS. From here, we will pick the latest stable release, Python 3.10.5. When recording this video, click on macOS 64-bit installer to start the download. After the installer has finished downloading, run the installer by double clicking the downloaded file. An installation wizard opens up. Please go through the information in each of this window as it's very informative. I'll just go ahead and press continue a few times. Agree to the software license agreement. 
now a window pops up indicating a couple of important things it shows up how much amount of space the installation will take we can click on customize button we can see a list of things which are a part of standard python distribution just go ahead and click install to start the application type in your password if it asks for it and click on install software After finishing up, the installer opens up a folder where the Python distribution is installed. We can see the whole package out there. We have the Python documentation file, the Python launcher application, and the idle code editor that come as part of the standard Python distribution. When the installer is finished copying files, click on close to close the installer window. You can now remove the python installer file by moving it to a bin but I'll keep it. There you go. We now have the latest version of python 3 on our computer. To verify if the installation is successful, fire up a new session of the terminal. Type in python 3.10 space hyphen hyphen version. that should print the full version number of the python we installed just now now let's draw some key conclusions of our brand new latest python installation the name of the executable file which represents the python interpreter application is python 3.10 it's installed in the directory which we can find out by typing in the command which space and the name of the executable file which is python 3.10 It's located in the bin directory which itself is in this path Now finally we should also note that this executable file location path is also set in the path environment variable To verify the same print the variable path by typing in echo space dollar path it should print the list of various paths separated by colons and in there we should be able to find out our installation directory path and that's the reason we will be able to fire up the python interpreter directly by typing in just the name of the executable file python 3.10 from anywhere in the terminal for example i am currently in my home directory clearly there is no python executable in my current working directory but still If I type in python 3.10 it will open up the python interpreter application in the interactive mode that's because the operating system first looks for the executable file python 3.10 in the current working directory and if not found it continues to look in all the directories listed in the path environment variable one by one in the listed order So the operating system picks up the executable python 3.10 from this location and runs it. Well that's it. That's all you got to do to set up a full-fledged standard python distribution in your system. You may skip the rest of the video and go ahead to the next one. But if you're interested in learning a little bit about the package managers and how we can use a popular macOS package manager homebrew to set up python, you may continue watching the video. we will not explore it in depth though the idea is to familiarize you to the package managers and how they work in a nutshell let's see how we can set up python using the second method now for users who need to install from the command line interface like in some server where there is no graphical user interface the homebrew package manager is a good option but please note that homebrew does not come pre installed in macos we need to install it manually to verify if it's already installed in your system at the terminal type in brew space hyphen v it's not installed in my system so let's install it now for that let's open up a browser and navigate to the official website of homebrew brew.sh we should see a command for installing homebrew near the top of the page 
under the title install homebrew. Let's copy the command by clicking on this icon. Now switch back to the terminal window and paste the command here and press return key. Enter your macOS user password when asked for it. Also please note that if you are doing this on a fresh installation of macOS, you may get a pop-up alert asking you to install Apple's command line developer tools. These tools are necessary for installation. So you can click on the install button to confirm in the dialog box. After the developer tools are installed, you will just need to press the return key to continue installation of homebrew. But if the command line developer tools are already installed in your system, like I have in mine, the homebrew installation process should begin immediately. Press the return key. It may take a few minutes to download all the homebrew's required files. Once the installation is complete, run these two commands in the terminal to add homebrew to our path. Copy the first command, paste it and run it. Similarly, copy the second command, paste it and run it. Now close the current terminal application and open up a new one. Now we can verify if it's successfully installed by typing in brew space hyphen v. And to check out where it is installed in the system, type in which space brew. This is the full path where it is installed in my system. Let's update and upgrade the local repositories list by typing in the command brew update and brew upgrade. Now that homebrew is installed, we are ready to install python. To install python 3, just type in the command brew install python 3. This will download and set up the latest version of python 3 onto our machine that is available in the repository. Always go through the summary that is printed onto the console. There is a ton of information over there. Python 3.9 has been installed in my system at this path. And as indicated before, Kinter module is not included in this installation. You will have to install it separately by using this command. Now to uninstall the Python 3 version that we have just installed, type in brew uninstall Python 3. Down the line, after we finish up with the fundamentals of Python programming, we will explore other ways to set up Python. Like for example, we will see how to set up Python using alternative distributions such as Anaconda. We will also learn how to create virtual environments to manage multiple versions of Python in our system. That's all for now. See you in the next one. Your feedback will be enormously helpful in improvising the final shape of this course. So please subscribe to the Sifting Mets channel and contribute any questions, comments or suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you.